All right, going to be back to Channel 9's championship wrestling action in the ring in just one moment. Before we get into Tupelo next Friday night, I do want to tell you about the next action coming up in Boonville. And goodness gracious, what kind of action it was the last time in Boonville at the Northeast Junior College. February 21st, right down the road a little bit. That's on a Monday. Give you a chance to get your tickets at the Chicken Hut early. That's going to be on February 21st, Boonville, Mississippi, a Monday night. Now, Tupelo, Mississippi, next Friday night. Big action. There's plenty of action card, four of them. But I want to talk primarily about the big main event that's going to have Carl Fergie, the Apocalypse, and Jesse Barr going against, listen to this team, Terry Taylor, the Southern heavyweight champ, Dutch Mantel, and King Cobra. Now, I got to tell you right off the reel that when you look at it down on paper, and that's all I'm talking about right now, and I'm sure that Mr. Cornett will have other views of it, it looks like Taylor Mantell and Cobra got much the best of it. <laughs> if Carl Fergie works out as well as I think that he might work out in this match, I might just go ahead and sign him up to the dynasty because we're always on the lookout for new talent, Lance. But if you will notice, where is Terry Taylor? Is in a six-man tag match, the Southern heavyweight champion, the right. singles champion, is in a six-man tag match. At every time that we meet Terry Taylor, he's in some kind of tag match, whether it be four men, six men, eight men, or ten men, the more that he can hide behind, the better he likes it, just so he won't have to put the championship belt up against a man such as Jesse Barr, Apocalypse, Adrian Street, or anyone else in the dynasty, because Terry Taylor is, I don't know whether you people know the word, but it's coward, is what Terry Taylor is, so now he's hiding behind Dutch Mantell and King Cobra, who themselves have gotten my dander up just a little bit in the past few weeks with the things that they've been doing. Dutch Mantell, we have have done some things to you in Tupelo, Mississippi, that if I were you, I would never show my face in that town again. As a matter of fact, I don't really like to show my face in the town, period. But Mantell especially should be on the lookout for any of the members of the dynasty. King Cobra just wants to tag along, evidently, because he can't be in a main event or something unless he's got some people such as Mantell and Taylor to hide behind. So the one thing that I'm worried about, Lance, is we're not going to be able to wrestle them because they're all going to be switching around trying to hide behind each other. It's going to look like a long line because they're all the time going to be switching around trying to hide behind each other's backs. Terry Taylor has been defending his Southern Heavyweight title Terry uh, Taylor once, at least once every 30 days. He doesn't have to defend it every Once every 30 time. days. Let's see, he defended against a grandmother. He defended against a paraplegic. No. He's defended against a few good men, but Jesse Barr, Apocalypse, the two masters of hand-to-hand -hand combat in their respective fields, and Carl Fergie, who has been put on waivers, so to speak, with the dynasty, he'll be proving himself as well. We're going to take care of Taylor and Cobra and Mantell with no problem at all. That's the big main event coming up next Friday night, my friend. I think you'll want to be there for nothing else and to see that six-man tag match. It'll be a dandy. Get your plans right now. Put together and you be there early. 